perv up there, back garden. This is my new tunnel, well new last year on the road. Greenhouse, <coughs> I've opened the door, they always bloody open. Set me uh, onion seed in there, propagated a couple of days ago. All my uh, leeks and that, pot and blanche in the end. Just heat in the end of the greenhouse, not all on it, not yet any road. Here's my raised beds, <coughs> this one here, it's my blanche leeks. I can see all the tops, I've got a clear corrugated sheeting on as a roof. And these sides and backs go on. Same cover you get on the tunnel, the only, um, this queen. Clear plastic goes on all around them. Blanche, pot leak, this one. Onions over the back, shallots there. Intermediate leaks in here. <coughs> in my tunnel, pot leaks. As you can see, I've just weighted to the bed again. I've left that bit dry there, so I'm going to do um, our little ones back. Little ones, bloody bigger, back Thursday. So I'll get him to do a uh, filming of us, make it easier for you. I want to show um, show you the smaller the droplet and waiter, the better. What I'm doing, I'm doing it just in a write-up for the um, Simply Veg magazine that comes out again in January. But all my beds, because I'm ticking over now. These had a bit of composting, garden compost. Well, when I finish the beds, you can see the worms already. Bloody good brew, that is. But if you keep it nice and moist, then that bacteria, fungi, and the worms will work away. If it dries out, it just ticks over. Keep it nice and moist, and it'll do what it's supposed to do. Nature working away. All my beds are nice and moist. I've checked them all. I'll do a weekly check. When I do my compost bins and my leaf melon bins, exactly the same, keep them nice and moist. But uh, these will get covered again now in here. Keep that moisture in and let uh, nature get to work. But I'll do an up to date, uh, well, it'll be, be Friday, about four, four or five days' time or something. Yeah, man.